Hey everybody, I'm Nora and you're watching Nori Lori's Keto and Health. Uh, different place. Um, this here is actually an apartment building that we um, manage. And uh, I just had a tenant move out and I am in the process of painting. So, because I am super busy, I can't forget you all. So what we're going to do is, since we're in a new year, I'm going to do my year in review to see where I've come and where I've started. Because when I started this channel, it was like in August, half the year was already gone. So we're going to recap my whole year. And it is cold here. My fingers are red. So let's dive into this year. everybody if you're new to my channel I have been on a three-year journey with keto I've had I had lost 70 pounds gained back almost all of that weight back and have lost up to this date in a little over 93 pounds no I'm not where I want to be at the end of the year but when you start looking at my whole year for 2020 and all the things that we have went through it wasn't a bad year at all. So I'm going to, I'm all, I've got all this stuff written down, but I'm also going to put, I'm just going to make a picture to kind of show you. I'm going to talk about it, but I'm going to show you too. So in 2020, in January of 2020, my weight was 231 pounds and four ounces. But <laughs> I was also working at that time and my stress level was really high. I am surprised I actually lost down to that because, sorry, my arm's a little tired. Um, I actually hit my heaviest for 2020 in May. I quit my job and COVID started and my heaviest for 2020 was 246 pounds and seven ounces and that was in May. I actually reached my lowest weigh in in October, October 16th to be precise, at 199 even. That is my lowest low for last year. Unfortunately, my weight has went back up and I haven't been able to catch it again. So, when I weighed in Friday, because this is Monday, when I weighed in Friday, I weighed in at 204.8 and we are going to talk about that because I did cheat on Christmas and that affected my weigh-in for this week. When I weighed in that Monday I was actually at 211 pounds so to get down to 204 um, that was a lot of loss for that week so that was pretty good. I'm not complaining because when you look back at it I went from a size 22 to a size 18. I have overall, let's see, overall over the year, if you start with my beginning weight from January to this January, it looks like I only lost 26 pounds in six ounces. But when we go from my highest to my lowest, it was actually 47 pounds. That was almost 50 pounds for the year. But because things affect your weight loss, it is not... Um, unusual to see these type of things. I was dealing with a lot of stressful things. Now, the end of this year, I was trying out a, new, a lot of new products. I was also making recipe videos. Those sugar substitutes, they caught me. <laughs> they caught me and I've been struggling, but I actually have pulled it in tighter. Like I said, I was going to and my goal is 
uh, by the end of January, I'm going to be lower than 199. Okay, I'm going to have a new lowest weight. And I'm just going to make small goals for myself because, let's face it, we live in life and we've got to stick to the reality of what life brings to us. And there's just going to be things that's going to affect us. You know, you cannot predict stress coming in your life. You cannot predict a pandemic coming into 2020. And here we are in 2021 and it is not gone. And we're fixing to change administrations and we don't know what is going to happen in that time, you know. So how is that going to affect that? And you know, how is that going to affect us? So we may have new stresses that may affect our weight. So you know, some of these things are just unpredictable. You, you're not going to be able to have that kind of control. And when we're on our weight loss journey, we want that control. We want to predict or say, yeah, this is going to happen. But it's not. And sometimes our old habits rear their nasty heads and said, hey, I'm not gone. I'm still here. I just pulled back. And now you're weak. And now we're going to have some fun. Even though it wasn't fun. I struggled. I've been gaining and losing like the same way over and over, but no more. This is a new year and I am determined, sorry, that that little nasty thing is not going to rear its head again. I'm going to get that control one way or another. So I just want you to remember as we tackle this new year, set realistic goals for yourself, small micro goals. Have your overall goal, but small goals that you can accomplish this. This is what I'm going to do. And when I'm not so busy with this, I'm going to sit down and kind of make those goals for the rest of this year. I would ultimately like to try to reach my goal weight and I'm kind of bouncing on what my goal weight is so I kind of need to key that in and I want to show some um, new research to you because BMIs are like broad range on what weight should be for your you know your height and I want to give you um, some new ideas on how to base where you might be at your ideal weight or size um, so I'm going to want to bring some of that stuff to you and just stay tuned. I'm going to have lots of new videos coming out. It is the new year and I want to help people who are starting keto. So we're going to have a lot of beginning keto stuff. And then I'm going to kind of break some things down and probably post those on Wednesdays. So some weeks there might be three videos and other weeks it might only be two. Um, it's just some new things that I am thinking about trying to get going. But most of all, I want you to face this world knowing that there is little that you can control in your life. The one thing you can control is what you put in your mouth. But I want you to approach your journey with grace and forgiveness for yourself because you're not always going to be perfect. There's always going to be things that's going to come up that's going to affect your weight loss journey. So if anything else, come into this new year being able to forgive yourself if you've cheated, to forgive yourself if you've not handled stressful situations tactfully, and just give yourself grace and make your next meal keto. And as always, your journey begins with you. Pick a meat, pick a fat, Pick a vegetable or two and just start keto. Don't overcomplicate it. I actually got a video how to start keto and keep it simple in 2021. I'll have this at the end of the video. Bye, everybody.